Hey everyone, this is Pete, and welcome back to Warriors Wednesday, our weekly exploration of Koei Tecmo and Omega Forces long-running Warriors series. Today, we're back with Warriors Orochi, as has been the case for quite a long time now. Um, must be getting on for a year now. Um, but yeah, we're finally to the last campaign in this game. So Samurai Warriors is clear, Shu is clear, Wu is clear, which leaves us with just way to do. So, let's begin. So, our starting characters for Wei are Cao Pi, Shang Lao, and Zhu Hang. Um, don't know if we have any others available at the minute. I doubt it, somehow. But let's just have a look anyway. No, but as usual, we'll unlock them in fairly short order as we go through. So, let's start by... Um, Making sure we've got a decent setup for our team. So we've got technique and power in there. That's good. We've got a claim. We've got potency. We've got vitality. So this is all left over from last time. Um, yeah, I think we're pretty much good to go to begin with. Um, we can give these chaps a few levels to give them a bit of a head start. Taupi's already got some levels. Um, who else do we have? Zhu Huang, Zhang Lao, and Taupi. Yeah, so we can give them a few levels. Um, let's take them all to equal Sal P to begin with. And then we can... There we go. That should do nicely. And we'll give the rest to Sal P to begin with. Very nice. And I'm almost certain they won't have any weapons to begin with, so no, he's not got any. I've obviously used Salpi for like a free mode, uh, auto unlock an ability at some point, so I guess that's what that's from. Um, Salpi, ability acquisition, boost, defeat 110 enemies while maintaining 50% life gauge status. Okay. Shang Lao, defeat 50 enemies, easy enough. And Xu Huang, defeat three officers. Okay, so these are all nice, easy abilities to. Um, get with to begin with so we'll let's get Sal P's out of the way first this boost is quite handy to have I think I've got that equipped anyway I think I saw a minute ago um, but yeah let's just begin so we begin with the Battle of Kuzegawa the Orochi army and the Daji army versus the resistance army so we're on Orochi side to begin with again uh, much like the start of the Wu campaign so advance on three fronts cooperate with your allies and seize the enemy main camp And here we go. I don't know the wave forces anywhere near as well as I do the uh, the various other ones. I'm just going to skip this intro because it's the same for all the factions. Um, and get straight in there. Legendary Serpent King Orochi descended from the heavens, and the world was transformed in an instant. Using his inhuman powers to warp time and space, he created a fusion between the Three Kingdoms era of China and the Warring States period of Japan. He then tested his might against the heroes of these ages. Most of the great armies of these two periods fell to destruction before the might of Orochi. The news of the death of Cao Cao, Lord of Wei, was reported, and it was left to his son, Cao Pi, to take up the leadership of the clan. Hoping to control Wei himself, Orochi sent Da Ji, his strategist, to take the offer of an alliance to Cao Pi, which he accepted. Once this this sounds died, dangerous. Daji employed Cao Pi to suppress any resistance to Orochi in the name of maintaining law and order. Despite this, Cao Pi followed Daji's orders faithfully, never raising the slightest objection. Hmm. I sense that won't last. <laughs> right. So, our initial objective. Defeat Hungai. And we lose if either Cao Zhang or Daji is defeated. Alright, you're on. Let's go. You want me to round up some bandits? They may be mere bandits, but our lord wants them a race. Our lord is unused to receiving orders. This must be hard for him. We must endure this for the sake of our lord. 
I will not turn down a request from my noble ally, Orochi. That's Lord Orochi to you, remember. We'll call him what we like. And just whose side are you on? Orochi and I are allies. I will do it. Who reckons he's up to something? I reckon he's probably up to something. But that's okay, because Daji's always up to something as well, so... Forces will divide into two parties. The main force will move west from the river, taking out any enemies in its path. Alright, let's get a feel for Salpi's moves. So three combo seems quite fun. So one, two, three, strong. That's a dash forward. Two, three, four. That's a very wide AoE. I think that's probably going to be our bread and butter to begin with. Yeah, that's a nice attack. Alright, which one of them needed to defeat some officers? I think it was Xu Huang, wasn't it? Yes, okay, so if we switch to him. Poor old Zhang Zhao. He gets made a fool of in pretty much every Warriors game. The guy who plays him in the English dub, though, just plays him with such, such glorious energy and enthusiasm for the role, though. It's always a, always a pleasure to hear him letting rip. And it's like, oh, you are the Serpent King. Right, as you'll probably expect, because we've been playing this a while now, we've got a good um, lineup of abilities in our arsenal. These first few missions are probably going to be pretty easy. So we're probably going to have a short couple of episodes, but that's fine. Things will inevitably get more difficult as we progress. I'm taking this chance to seize their camp. Mitsunari. He used us as bait to distract the enemy while he sneaked in. I'm feeling ready for a serious scrap. You can get off your horse. A second officer KO coming up. Their march north is a trap. They're after our main camp, which means that the southern garrison is where the real strength of their army lies. Alright, that's two down. Hmm. The enemy should have passed by now. Now is our chance to seize their main camp. I won't lose a second time. There's another notch for my great axe. I have some catching up to do. Our allies are watching. We must not be shown up. I have some catching up to do. All right, where are we going from here? Down here? Have you got that ability? I didn't see it unlock. 17 more KOs. That's fine. Oh, well, this is a confusing layout of Bridgie Bridgie. Fun times, isn't it? Let's head back over to the east, because I can see some of the enemy forces are advancing up the east side. And we don't want uh, our camp to fall while we're not paying attention. Probably unlikely for that to happen in the first mission, but uh, best to be safe. And this will get us our third officer KO as well. Get off that horse. Shield. 
That's a nice, satisfying big hit. More of that. Stop blocking. It's the first mission. You're not allowed to do things like blocking yet. There we go. Right, so that's taken care of. Let's polish off Salpi's ability. There we go. And then on to guy whose name I've forgotten. And he just needs to defeat 50 enemies, as I recall. Do you think you can stop me? Come. We can't let Salpi think we can't fight. Get out of here. My hat is sillier than yours. And as we all know, that is how we decide victory in this universe. That's it. You better run. Okay, so we're going to need to kind of head over to the west side. It's suspiciously quiet in the middle there. I suspect there's going to be an ambush at some point. Let's take out this gate down here. Oh, took it for us. <laughs> That's fine. In that case, let's sneak around this way and see what we can find. So another gate just over here. Which we can deal with without too much difficulty. Good afternoon. Have I spoken to you other at the word of our good lord Orochi? No? Oh well. Now you're dead. I'm sorry, you're not dead. You're knocked out. It's fine. Despite the numerous gaping wounds in your chest from various bladed weapons slicing through your flesh, you're just knocked out. I probably shouldn't be lone wolfing like this, but... Wow, what the hell. It's fun to have some things that are entirely your responsibility. And a gate to get rid of as well. And there's the ability. Wonderful. Alright, who am I having most fun with? I think this guy's pretty fun for now. Let's stick with him for the minute. Alright, now the base captured. Alright, people. Are you ready to have some real fun? Hang on. Isn't that Sal P? Maybe. The Prince of Wei would sink to wait on a snake. The truly evolved man moves with the times. He's not wrong, but I'm not sure Orochi is the way to go. You have to consider whether you're nailing your flag to a standard just because it's convenient or because you actually believe in what's going on.
Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. I'm taking so little damage, it's brilliant. Like, even from that special attack there. That must be down to the um, fortitude ability I've got. I must have got to a point where my defense is now so high that like, even the strongest attacks in these early levels don't do anything. Alright, onwards this way, I guess. Strike the main camp. We're having a barbecue later, so I can understand that. You know, just the thought of that delicious meat. Delicious, crispy, charred meat. Mm. Um, what was I saying? Choo choo. I wonder if I should bump it up to hard. I don't know though, because like, at the minute I'm not really doing enough damage to make hard practical. It might be worth trying. And if it all goes horribly wrong, then maybe we can we can go back to normal. Maybe I'll try that from the next um, mission. Because at the minute there's just very little threat from... There's so little threat from the actual enemy attacks at the minute. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty invincible at this point. Like, look how little my health bar is moving. And because I'm in an alliance with people, I'm replenishing that almost as fast as I'm taking damage. It's a good feeling, I won't lie. Muso attacks in this still feel quite underpowered. I don't know if I'm just using them wrong, but they never seem like they do a huge amount. I mean, they look cool. But, like, you expect them to sort of be explosive and to smash through the enemy forces and take down officers and do a huge hit to their health bar, but like it seems they can be blocked pretty easily. That's okay, I guess. I don't really use them much anyway. Most of your bread and butter in this seems to be from making effective use of your combos and your charge attacks. And a lot of the abilities kind of focus on that side of things as well, making your charge attacks better and that. That's what the abilities of the weapons do. They sort of attach things to your weapon's charge attacks. And so I think your Muso attacks are kind of intended to be just be a last resort, really. Rather than something to rely on. It's quite interesting how they've been implemented in different ways over the course of the series. Like in Hyrule Warriors, they're really good. Muso attacks are really, really helpful in that. But again, quite situational. So each character has like such a specific way of attacking in that game. Another 
maybe it's just sort of more refined than this because this is obviously a much earlier game than that all right first mission done and dusted nice and easily and we've got a great moustache going on there so good let's see what if anything we unlock Have from that officers of Wu sunk to this ha, you want to talk a slave to a snake if i'm so pathetic then come and finish me off i am a compassionate man you may go but next time, think carefully about how you want it. Ah, delicious coffee. You live to regret your arrogance. Next time, you will feel my... Your arrogance. So he forgive me. I was so hungry, I didn't know. Enough. From now on, you will work for me. Hey, where's Lord Tsao Tsao? If he was here... He'd fix everything. You are a simple man, aren't you? You think a hero can heal all this? Sounds remarkably like Big the Cat as well. Froggy! But simplicity does have a way of winning the people's hearts. Your philosophy has a place. Alright, very nice. Okay, and we have a look. Boost Cavalier for all that mounted combat we do. And a few shitty weapons. A lot of shitty weapons. Wonderful. Alright, so a strong start to the way campaign there, I think. Excuse me, hiccuping into the microphone like that. Anyway, as always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again next time. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please help out the channel by leaving a like or a comment and subscribing. Be sure to check out moegamer.net for new articles on Japanese and Japanese inspired video games, new and old, every weekday. Every month, Moegamer features an in depth exploration of an individual game or series as its cover game, so be sure to check the archives to see if your favourite has had a deep dive yet. If you'd like to support the site directly, please consider becoming a patron or buying me a coffee. You can find links to do both down in the video description. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.